y let's solve for the value of x okay so i would like you to watch to the end to see how we substituted what we got into this equation to prove that what we got is right when you look at this it might not be easy for you to kickstart it but once you do it's going to be interesting so i looked at this and i divided to I decided to divide 3 by 4 to the power of x. And something happened. Something magical. So 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x. Now this will divide this. We have 1 plus 6 to the power of x and over 4 to the power of x can be written as 6 over 4 raised to the power of x, right? Is equal to the same thing here, 9 over 4 raised to the power of x. All right. Now, I want us to note that this and this have common factor, and that is um, 2, okay? So let's use their common factor to reduce the fraction. So we have 1 plus, when 2 divides 6, we will have 3. When 2 divides 4, we will have 2. Raised to the power of x is equal to, 9 can be expressed as 3 squared. Okay, so let's write that. Divided by 4 can be expressed as 2 squared. Everything to the power of x. Now, um, I would like you to keep calm. Because I know that most of you, by the time we derive our quadratic equation, you are going to be like, oh, is this what it's all about? But trust me, even with that quadratic equation, after getting it, for you to get the solution is not easy. So I'd like you to watch to the end. Don't just rush off when we, derived our, when we have derived our quadratic equation, okay? So let's go. We have um, 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 over 2 squared, since they have the same power, everything raised to the power of x. Now, when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Two of them are equal. They are the same. So we can now write this as 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x, is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of x, everything squared. Okay? Now, to simplify this, since we have the same thing here and here, we can say, let y be equal to 3 over 2 to the power of x. And when we do that, that means we can substitute this in, as y, right? So we have 1 plus y is equal to y squared. Now, I know this is where most of you will kick off, but calm down. Because to get what we have and substitute it as y to solve for x is a different ballgame. Now, we have y squared plus y is minus y. That is, we are bringing them to the other side of the equation. Plus 1 becomes minus 1 is equal to 0. So, at this point, let us use our quadratic equation formula yes because we cannot solve this by factorization so the quadratic equation formula states that y that's this y we are looking for should be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a okay now from here our a is going to be the uh, coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is minus 1. And our c is our constant, which is minus 1 as well. Please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel. So we now have that y is equal to our b is minus 1. So minus minus becomes plus. So we have 1 here. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, which will give us 1. Then minus 4 times ac, that is 4 times 1 times minus 1, which will give us minus 4. So that means minus 4 multiplied by this minus becomes plus, okay? Divided by 2 times 1, that is a, will give us 2. So now we have that y is 1 plus or minus 
square root of 5 divided by 2. Oh, sorry. I was shooting. I did not even know that my camera went off. I don't really know what happened. So, this is where we stopped. So, let's continue from there as well. So, we said that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay? So, that means we have two values of y here. The first value is that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay? And the second value is that y2 is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, now we are going to go first with the first one. So the first one says that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. But recall, recall that we said let our y be equal to 3 over 2 raised to the power of x, right? Yes, I hope you still remember. So that means that we can equate this to be equal to this. So we can write... Um, 3 over 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. All right? So if we say that, let them solve. Then the only thing we can do here is to introduce log reading. So let's introduce log to both sides of the equation. So log 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. 2. All right. Then we are going to use the power rule. The rule that states that log a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. All right. So if we should apply that here, that means we can rewrite this as what? Well. This will come down, write it as x log 3 over 2. Right? Is equal to log. 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, because we are looking for the value of x, we are going to divide through by what? Log 3 over 2. So, divided by log 3 over 2, divided by log 3 over 2. Okay? So, if we do that, then we are going to have... So, what I did, in case if you can't see it clearly here... I divided this side by log 3 over 2. So log 3 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2. We are left with x is equal to... So we have log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 divided by log 3 over 2. Now let's simplify this further, okay? Recall that log a divided by log b is equal to log a base b okay so let's then introduce that here if we do that that means that we can write our x as what x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 base 3 over 2 so this becomes our x1 the first value of x then if we should solve for the second value of x then definitely we are going to have what's negative that is one minus root five over two here all right since our y2 is one minus root five over two but we cannot make use of that second value of x why because you cannot find logarithm of a negative number since this is going to give us a negative number yes one minus root five divided by two is going to give us a negative number so because of that we cannot use this to solve that means we don't need this one the only solution of x we have is this one hope you have subscribed thank you so much for watching and